Okay, I gotta admit, Dr. Steve Turley uh, does help a lot of times with making you feel like that's that's a good point. I guess I guess it isn't as bad as I thought, but and and so he made he made this point that he was talking. He was basically citing Victor Davis Hanson in this. So he was citing um, Americans' confidence. In, in a variety of things, but Americans' confidence in their government. And uh, do voters actually have confidence in the government itself? And it's at 30%. So he was making this, this really good point. Nobody wants this. We have the reality that nobody asked for, like Indiana Jones or Star Wars uh, sequels. <laughs> nobody wants this. Nobody asked for it. Uh, but we keep having to pay. And, and so he actually made the point of the fact that we all have to pay, um, it, it, you, know, you know, that there's a cover charge to, to uh, <laughs> experiencing this right now, uh, that that's going to be a huge, that's becoming a real problem for the Bidens. So the IRS aspect of this, the fact that the Bidens now seem to have caused every part of the federal government to become a mechanism to help out Hunty Pipe. And that, remember, the only reason I even came up with the, the name Hunty Pipe was because you couldn't say Hunter Biden on, uh, on this platform. That we have now ample evidence that whatever part of DARPA helps alphabet <laughs> was protecting hunty pipe so this is like so the, he victor davis hansen's like imagine being able to move the entire federal government to protect your kid from something they did wrong that you literally have like you can move satellites <laughs> you can move the low earth orbit ion cannon to help your kid do their homework you know and uh and, and so he's like, most people know that that will never happen. They know that they're on their own to feed their family and to help their child and to do things and that they are seeing what's really going on. <coughs> they're seeing that, no, this is, this is what democracy looks like. This is what it is. It is, it is the Democratic Party being able to do anything it wants no matter if people want it or not and and that it's just a matter of you made the error of getting them elected so very similar to like parliamentary kind of politics that once their party gets power who's ever in the party in the highest ranks gets to do whatever the fuck they want this is of course why the republicans now can run on you know you are constantly having to um pay for things you don't want and then you find out that in some way shape or form the government can just sort of do anything it wants to you because of of some uh, of of policy not legislation just policy that there's just some policy they have they could do that <laughs> such as you know search and seizure laws and things like that that you it's it's now clear it's now widely understood Search and seizure laws are now this thing that if something, if the, if the government does this wrong, it doesn't matter. You know, you, you, you have to convince the government not to take your stuff. And when, you know, now that the way search and seizure laws work, this, nobody wanted that. <laughs> people were like, no, bad people who like do horrible things and make money from it. They should have their they they should have their ill-gotten gains seized. Now, you know, you have no idea why the government might put their hands on something of yours. And there's actually a lot of that you might not never you might not ever know until it comes to trial. Why did the government take that? <laughs> so there they have laws that they could keep things secret now. They could keep charges secret from you. So no, we have kind of the government that we absolutely did not ask for. And when we see it totally working, in it just like a machine, just perfectly well-oiled, it is to protect 
a crackhead. It is to ignore criminality of rioters rioting because of a crackhead. <laughs> so it, I, I'm, I'm, the, the, the thing Victor Davis Hanson is getting into is at a certain point when, when nobody sees the government as legitimate, you, you start seeing real cracks in the way that things operate. Um, at, at a variety of levels. And so this comes up, there's actually this, this sci-fi series called Chung Kuo. So I, I've, I've, you know, talked about it with you guys before. The nature of security is to fail. I believe that comes from Dune, from um, the Bashar, um, Miles Tegg. But the, uh, the whole thing about Chung Kuo, these guys saw what China was going to become this guy saw it way ahead of time, way ahead of time. He just, he just took the logical course. This is how China has acted in the past. <laughs> what would the super future be like? And it was, you know, unbelievable levels of monitoring of people until the security forces became corrupt from within. And then you never knew what you were getting. It was the super future. You don't know if you're getting real information or fake information from the security forces. You don't know if you're getting made up evidence or real evidence from the security forces. And eventually it puts the leadership and their special forces against elements of the security forces that of course know how to operate everything. So, so it's, this, this, it's this absolutely terrible war. Now, there's a bunch of you who will probably be like, oh, yeah, that's similar to, and you could name various communist countries. You could name, you know, the, a variety of, of, of probably situations and um, that, that it became the inner guard against the, the, the sort of the, the, the uh, yeah, the security, the soldiery of some sort. And uh, so now there, the, there's... Really, the, the doors are wide open. Somebody like Vivek can just be like, no, 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 we need to massively, you know, like trim the federal government down to something that is, is constitutionally recognizable. Um, cut it in half, cut it down to a quarter of its size, any, anything like that. And you got it. You, it's a walk. Um, coming up with you know, we should restructure it along these lines, we should restructure this along these lines, we should just simply eliminate this or that whole section of the federal government. It, it's a walk into the office. The, whoever does that is going to walk into office. And, uh, because that's the future. There's, there is, the only way the republic maintains is if the federal government is cut down to a fraction of its size. That's the only way the Republic maintains. Otherwise, we're going to be living under a democracy like this forever. And it, and it won't last very long. It, it, it's own... That's the other part of it is... Now, say you had dirt on somebody within the government. Uh, it, like, th this has been said now openly about, like, one of the whistleblowers. One of the whistleblowers is, was worried about being killed. So you're at that stage. This is this kind of late Soviet period in a way that now you have people who they uh, could could vanish, vanishing people and, and people mysteriously dying, people mysteriously vanishing. That's all happening around Hunty Pipe and the Bidens. And, and so that's it. Once once you're there, you can't come back from that. You, you, it, it, it's either gets way worse or by a miracle and only we can do this, uh, it, by a miracle, you, you start whittling down the federal government to a fraction of its size and most likely prosecutions won't happen, you know, of anybody who really should be prosecuted, but, uh, we'll, we'll see, um, but, but that's that's now where that that's where my head's at now, that, and and it really is the the old guard of the Republicans. They 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 can't make this argument. They depend too much on the government being gigantic, so they can't make that argument. 
So a lot of them are going to go. Yeah.